Make some noise, y'all, for J. Rose, whose birthday was Thursday. She be sh sipping champagne when she what? She went the whole long way. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, so my nickname, it's not really funny, but like the shit my mom used to do after she said it was like weird. So my mom used to call me gata, right? Which is in Spanish is cat, because I have light eyes, I don't know. But like she would be like, gata, meow, meow. And I was like, <laughs> she would like meow at me. When I was little, I meowed back, but like it got, <laughs> when I, <laughs> Then I got to a certain age where I was like, all right, mom, you're being fucking weird, man. <laughs> all right. Um, so I came here with intentions to do um, an, a piece about affirmations. But I also have a love poem. No, I'm not doing erotic shit this month. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I got to, you know, show a variety of my writing, right? I don't want to be known for the girl that talks about fucking all the time. <laughs> Although, I am the girl that talks about fucking all the time, but... Anyway, so I could do a love poem about long-distance love, or I could do an affirmation piece, which I want. <laughs> Affirmations? I... Love biscuit, what? <laughs> all right, we'll do an affirmation. So I need y'all to help me out with the first couple of lines. There's some affirmations if you guys are welcome to join me. All right? You ready? Yeah. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of health. I love myself. I trust myself. I am enough. And when shit gets rough, I'm still enough. Ashe, thank you guys. Let's get into this piece. Some have wealth in the form of riches, while others prefer wealth in the form of wishes. And I'm just here claiming my wealth in spirit, minding my business. Hard hat and pickaxe just minding my business. Turning wishes into riches and riches into attitude switches. So don't be mad when I hit the switch and my attitude switches. And the only light you see is the flame from burning bridges you see for me. For me, there's nothing more releasing than relieving negativity. So tonight, I let go of three things that had me fucked up. Number one, love from yesterday's newspaper. Daily news headlines of all the New York Times, I stood on a block of my blessings, hanging myself over a man that was blocking my blessings. They say love hurts, but sometimes it feels more like organs compressing Airways constricted, heartbeat convicted. I try to speak in love languages, but the translation was restricted and the reciprocity was too limited. Claiming unconditional love, yet leaving me was easier than loving me. So the condition was that I had to be enough and never was. Or so I thought. You see, I had to be abandoned so that I could abandon everything I thought I had to be. And standing outside the window of solitude, I sang sweet serenades to find myself. And with the fire in my heart, I cut soul ties to close chapters that no longer serve me. Number two, the troublesome twins, depression and anxiety, who love to play wicked games. And although they don't look alike, their malice feels the same. Throwing my train of thought off its track with inhibitions. Had to stand clear of closing doors and lost ambition. See, motivation wasn't enough because discipline was non-existent. Both holding me back with their mental confliction. So, I parented my thoughts and emotions. I colored them back into the lines. Sat them at the children's table when it was time to dine. Read them bedtime stories of a warrior queen that always survived. Teaching them, <laughs> teaching them boundaries with self-love and patience. It's okay to not be okay, but it's time to step into healing situations. Because the wounds are now scars and the pain is just a distant sensation. Feelings felt so far that, ooh, feelings felt so far that so far I haven't felt so far from feeling so sensational. 
And number three, the insecurity ninja. I built a foster home to foster the syndrome of imposters. Fueled its power with self-doubt and insecurities. I was blind to what y'all see in me. So I strolled to the rhythm of serenity. I sat by the sea of sincerity, hoping to see what y'all see in me with more clarity. Crying diamonds from the pressures of life as they reflect my light as far as the eye can see. Drowning in jeweled waves of tears so that my tears could wave goodbye to the woman I used to be. I could finally say I was blind, but now I see. And not with my eyes, but with my seeds. You see, everything I do is for the birth of their legacy. They're the mangoes in this lineage of poison ivy, fun fact. Poison ivy is related to mangoes, cashews, and pistachios. Google it. Now back to these affirmations of transformation, setting the bar high like views from a bird's eye. The only limit to my light is the sky. And I see the feminine divine within me. I see my ancestors within me. I see the love within we. I see the unity within we. I see the we within me and the me within we. So repeat after me. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of health. I love myself. I trust myself. I am enough. And when shit gets rough, I'm still enough. I say, guys, thank you so much. Yo, you know when you do your own shit and you give yourself goosebumps, like. All right, if you like what you heard, please follow me. Um, I'm a curator and a host in New York. I host open mics, showcases, and all types of stuff like that. You can find me on Instagram at mycrumblethoughts, my underscore crumble thoughts. I'm Jay Rose. Thank you guys for the space. I love y'all.